many South Africans don't know about this big tree, just off N2. And this tree here uh, resembles one of what Mother Nature has given us, uh, a 1,000 years old, uh, within an area that is so tranquil, quiet, you find a peace of mind and which many people are looking for and that's why we felt to resemble this and give it support in terms of it growing as a tourist destination, a tourist attraction. It's important for us to invest money into it. Five, four, three, two, one. We really value the attractions in terms of meeting international standards and this route being one of the key routes for international market and we felt that it's important for us to invest this site um, previously there were no uh, facilities that were of international standard but in that way we were not only uplifting the facilities but we were also assisting in job creation also assisting in ensuring that uh, we create economic activities around the area. You'd know that with the construction of the facilities that we have here, we've been able to have people working from locally to build the infrastructure. Uh, we now have local people working in the restaurant, working at the kiosk, and also, I mean, the people who are doing uh, some of the craft will be able to sell their products here. So we do believe that it's one of the important things. We do show that one of the things that's why we remain to say tourism is the pillar of economic development and economic growth. Yes, we're definitely very passionate about employing local people from this area. Um, we feel that there's a lot of talented people here, especially young, um, the youth. Uh, it's just not often they, they have the opportunity to further their ideas. So um, for us, it's important that we train and we develop our local people so that they are able to do things for themselves and further themselves. Like one of our former employees have got his own Chisanyama going in the location. So um, we're, happy, we, we're happy that people can be uplifted because at the end of the day, um, Titikama is a beautiful, rich area in diversity, but we also want um, the economy of Titikama to boost. When the lockdown came, we only operated for about three, three to four months. Um, so, yes, we took a huge knock. Um, we have been closed ever since. We've opened today for this uh, wonderful launch and this function. Um, but opening up will be determined by the number of feet that we get through the gate. So, up to now, it has not been viable for us to open because there's not enough people that knows about the place and that, that comes through to enjoy the big three. Uh, we're hoping that that will change now that the international borders have opened and uh, people we moved down to lockdown level one. So we're very hopeful, um, yes, but also cautious because um, we've, we've suffered a tremendous loss. We've lost staff, um, we've had to close our doors, like I said, so... Yeah, it hasn't been a nice ride, but I suppose we all have to ride it out.